Okay, so there's some giant and very controversial changes coming to both Vex IQ and Vex V5 in Australia. And depending on who you ask, it's either super good or super bad. So this article actually has been out since May 3rd, but a lot of us are just finding out about it now. And if you're watching this video, you probably don't even know about it. It's already in effect, and basically what they're doing is they're basically changing whether teams can sign up or not. On the article, which is linked in the description, they said that this change is to increase their commitment to student-centered learning, as you can see here. So, how are they doing this? Well, they've made it so that any private organization or academy cannot compete in RECF-sanctioned events. These events are the ones listed on robot events, meaning that they won't be able to compete in locals, regionals, nationals, or worlds. None of them. They'll technically still be able to compete in unofficial events like scrimmages, but what even is the point? So here, it kind of shows um, what teams can actually compete. Number one, teams registered under a nonprofit. Number two, universities or schools. Number three, uh, public libraries and all that, or corporate sponsor teams. They also allow private or home teams to compete, but if and only if they cannot physically access a school or a school program. So, I mean, there's a lot of private organizations in Australia for Vex IQ, like Magic Kid, Creator Academy, and the Sydney Robotics Academy. So you might ask, can't they just find a workaround or something to get past this? Well, if you go down a bit, you'll actually see the application and approval process. Every single team has to go through a manual verification progress, which just makes loopholes or workarounds much harder. But if you're a team in Australia or New Zealand, don't panic. As you may know, the Capped Pins itself has a nonprofit organization here in the US. We welcome you to join us. We provide free online coaching as well as exclusive resources, and we're trying to break the boundary of money. If you're interested, shoot me a DM through our Discord server in the description. Anyways, here comes the big question. Is this protecting school teams or just gatekeeping garage teams from competing? Personally, I feel like this is a big step in the right direction. Clearly, this is something that REC is trying to experiment in Australia, and if it works good for them, they might even extend this rule to US or maybe the rest of the world. And I think this could be the effect of countless complaints from teams about large private organizations. But here's where things get messy. A lot of community teams are made of smart and hardworking members, but they might not be in the same school. They might live some distance away from each other, and this can make it very hard for them to compete. So what do you guys think? Please drop your thoughts below. And so far, I haven't seen any videos or posts about this. So I'm sure you guys' feedback could definitely be heard by the REC Foundation. But yeah, that's going to be all for today's video.